course, the Cape Fear River, not the only major waterway in the area that's causing some big problems. That's right. The News River is expected to crest sometime today. CBS 17's Lauren Havlin is live now in Wayne County, keeping an eye on it. Lauren. Where the News River actually flows, it is about a mile behind me from where I'm standing. But even this far out, you can just see how much these floodwaters are impacting the town of Goldsboro. Now take a look. Crews have used spray paint, spray paint, and every hour they are marking just how high this water gets. Roads, businesses, and cars in Goldsboro are underwater. The flooding of the Noose River causing much of the town to shut down. I've lived here 28 years, and this is the worst I've seen as far as the water goes. The hurricane was not bad. It was the water. But the high waters aren't stopping Brother Joe's food cart from heating up the grill. This is my retirement job. I live around this area, so they all neighbors. Anything I can do, I'll help. William Strickland knows that's by serving food to his community. Ma'am, I have yours ready. Oh, I think it's fabulous. I'm glad they're able to go somewhere and get a little hot meal. Five dollars. Thank you, sir. Strickland says he served hundreds of meals over the weekend to those working through Florence and plans to continue as waters recede, all while praying another storm doesn't come this way. No hurricanes. We don't need no more right now. We need good dry weather for about a month. Dry out this county. So flood stage for the News River in Goldsboro is at 18 feet. At last check, it was at 26 feet. But we just heard from Wayne County officials that the gauge here at the river is actually not working properly. They are working to fix that. But when I did speak to those officials, they tell me they do expect this river to crest within the next couple of hours. But the receding process is going to be a slow one. Live in Goldsboro, Lauren Havlin, CBS 17 News.